think we can start now. Today is June 29th, and I'm going to um, tap in the interview with Zhang Jie. Okay, we'll start. Um, Zhang Jie, can you tell me, um, do you have an English name? English name, uh, A, A, yeah. Oh, can you spell it for me? A-D-A, so easy. Oh, it's yeah, it's easy. I like it, Ada. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, can you tell me uh, which grade are you currently studying? I come to your school. Oh, uh, no, which so, grade are you currently studying at your school? Oh, I guess it's it 11. Uh, yeah, 11. Oh, 11th grade. Uh, so which yeah. grade are you going to apply? Uh, 11 also. Okay, you want to repeat 11th grade. Okay, that makes sense. Um, can you tell me your date of birth? Uh, January 6th. Okay. Uh, yeah, January 6th. I'm sorry, uh, I beg your pardon. It's not clear, the signal. Can you tell me again your date? 2000 and uh, January 26. Um, January 26, 2000? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. So, have you ever taken any um, English test like TOEFL, SLAP, or SSAT? No, never. Okay, yeah. no problem. And do you also know your current GPA at your school? GPA? Uh -huh. What What is that? Uh, GPA is just like your uh, average, uh, your grade point about your academic performance. That's okay. I, I, told it. Yeah, I forgot that. Okay, no problem. Uh, I just uh, also wonder maybe that's a different educational system. Uh, yeah. So you're now studying in Singapore. How long have you been there studying? One year and a half, yeah. Oh, one and a half year, okay. So you say you are currently starting at eleventh grade. Um, okay, uh, maybe that's a little bit different from the system. Uh, can you tell yeah. me what was your last grade when you started in China? Uh, wait. It's like I, your I middle to, school. How to say that in English? Oh, that's fine. Just tell me, uh, were you in middle school when you were in China? Yeah, middle, middle school. Okay, so which, uh, which year at middle school? Uh, two thousand and eight. Two thousand four, four, forty. Yeah, forty. Yeah. Forty. Uh, no. Uh, my question is, um, I know before you. Before you started in Singapore, you st you were middle school student in China, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We we how how long how many years have you been starting at middle school? Three or three or um, no three years two. Two and a half years. Oh, two yeah. and a half years. Okay, that makes yeah. sense because that helps me to figure out. Um, you you mentioned the eleventh grade. I'm pretty sure, uh, if based on our calculation, that's not eleventh grade. So I just need to do a little calculation. Okay, I got it. Um, no problem. Let's just move something about your school life. Uh, can you tell me maybe describe a little bit about your typical life, your school life in Singapore. <laughs> my school life. Is it a boarding school uh, or is it a day school? Mm, when do you need to get up? How long the whole school? How many classes <laughs> you have? Uh, I wake up at 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock. And I will take the bus to school. Mm -hmm. and most of the time we will finish class at 4 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Um, so is it you, you say you're taking bus to school so apparently it's not a boarding school right you don't live in dormitory or something like that uh, yeah I live in dormitory yeah mm -hmm. okay so uh, after like the school ends at 4 p.m. Um, do you participate in any club or, or extracurricular activity I have a commerce club yeah oh yeah, what is that class? Class? Uh, it's 
Yeah, after four p.m., you just mentioned something you had a in a club. We only have the club in Friday. Only oh. Friday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you say a little bit about that club? What was that club? What is the club? It's about? commerce club. Yeah, but I feel that good in commerce. Mm hmm. So, do you have a a lot of fun in that club? Uh, it's so difficult for me. <laughs> oh, it's difficult. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I want to try, but okay. I fail. Oh, yeah, that's, that's okay. At this young age, every failure always leads to something hard, with hard work, it leads to success, right? My, my English also not. No good. Yeah. Uh, no, you can communicate well with me. I don't think it's not it's not that bad at all. Okay, you should be uh, have a lot of confidence in yourself. <laughs> um, can you also tell uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me? Okay. Uh, yeah. So you are being in Singapore that school for one and a half year. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when, when, which city do you live right now? Which city? Now? Mm -hmm. In China? Mm -hmm. Sichuan, Chen. Oh, you know that? Sichuan, yeah, I know that. Uh, so yeah. before you go to Singapore, you study at a school in Chengdu, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Um, can you tell me the school's name of your Chengdu school? Chengdu <laughs> uh, Zishi Okay, that's it. Uh, um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I, either way, I don't know that school, so don't worry. Uh, let's move on to what is your favorite subject? Think about uh, the different Stop. subjects you study. Uh, math. Mm -hmm. uh, and computer. Okay, math and a computer. Nice. Uh, it's always few inspired to see a girl very interested in science. Uh, so yeah, you, I like playing games, yeah. Mm -hmm, good. Oh, you you like playing video games? Yeah. Okay. Like, oh, you know that. <laughs> Have you spent uh, lots of time playing games? No. <laughs> I don't play that them in free time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I, I understand. Um, that's a one way to help you relax. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so your first subject are math and a computer. Um, have you yeah. thought about maybe becoming an engineer for your future career? Do you want I don't know. I and I also like Hello? Hi. Oh hi. Um, hi. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat what you just mentioned? Uh, you also like something? Yeah, the signal is not very good. Yeah, I also like drawing. Oh, okay. So you also like drawing, it's also the artistic talent. Good for you. Yeah. Um, so maybe you like computer, you like drawing, you like play video game, you can work together of those things, right? Become a maybe a game yeah, designer. Yeah, I also can play piano, yeah. Okay, and piano. Okay, interesting. So you like arts and science. Interesting. Um, how about your least favorite subject? What, what can you repeat? Um, I just asked you about your favorite subject, and now I would like to know the opposite. What are some subjects you don't particularly enjoy? <laughs> English. English? Oh, wow. Yeah, but English is not good. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, but I told you, I think your English is good. It's not that bad. You should have some confidence in yourself. Okay. I always go back to the test. Okay. Yeah, that's have different um, factors. I think maybe sometimes it's a grammar, sometimes a vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you read a lot of English books during your free time? Yes, yeah, sometimes I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you can maybe uh, work more on that. It will definitely help you to increase your vocabulary. Okay, okay thanks. Uh, so let me ask, where are you interested in studying in the U.S.? I know you're currently studying in Singapore. So what is the reason you want to uh, transfer to American high school? 
I I think America has better education, and I will also want to have a better future. Yeah. Okay, so you think、uh, you will have a better educational opportunity in the U.S., right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it.、Um, so think about、uh, yeah, I I have learned a lot about your school life, your hobby.、Uh, so, how did you usually spend your free time? Maybe weekend or、uh, after school? Oh, I would go out with my family. Yeah, and. And play with my friends,、mm -hmm. yeah, like that. And so I'm just curious when you when you started at Singapore, so your family is with me, living in Singapore. No, no, my family is at Chengdu.、Yeah. Oh, your family is still in Chengdu. So do you、yeah. live in hostel family? Why、mm -hmm. in Singapore? Living in dormitory. Oh, you live in dormitory. Oh,、uh, yeah. yeah. But, but you mentioned you have to take a bus, right, to school. So the dormitory is the not... dormitory has a bus. Oh, it it's. Yeah. I see. It's not located on campus, right? Okay,、yeah. that makes sense. Okay, let me just move to some about your、um, out of school life. Can you tell me? Do you have any、um, plan for your future? Like after graduate from college, what do you want to do? Any idea about that? Uh, I I don't know. Okay, don't worry. That's totally fine. I think you'll just be a nice grader, tenth grader. That's still、uh, for some kids. It's still long way ahead of them. <laughs> okay, totally understand. Don't worry. Um, how are you going to spend your summer? I think your summer break maybe just starts, and you were going to fly back to Singapore, right? My summer break. This yeah, is summer break, right? Yeah, I I just got curious, like for your Singapore school, why you have to fly back tomorrow? Is it like the new school year will start very soon? Yeah.、Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. So, um, how long did you spend this summer in Chengdu? Only fifteen days. Oh, only fifteen days. Fifteen.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah, only about two weeks. I see. So what、yeah. what did you do during these two weeks? Stay at home, play with my younger brother. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, so you have a younger brother, right? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And、uh, he must miss you, and you miss him while you're studying in Singapore. Sorry, can I repeat the net network isn't work just now? Okay, never mind.、Uh, we can still continue. Let me ask you. Then, how have you spent your past two summers? You just told me for this summer you had pretty much only two weeks in Chengdu with your friends, family. How about the past two summers? Um, I have some travel lessons and some sports. Uh huh. Uh. Uh, watch movie with my mom.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Did you travel during the your summer break? I didn't have enough time to travel. Hmm. I see. Okay. Hmm.、Mm, let me think about.、Um, so, who in your life has most influenced you? Can you tell me? My mom. My、Your mom. mom. Oh wow! Can you、um, elaborate a little bit? Why do you think your mom has influenced you? In which way? How? How has he influenced you? My mom teaches me so much things.、Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ah,、uh, for example. Uh. Ask me not to do that, not to do that,、uh, like that. So,、uh, is your mom like a tiger mom? Sometimes.、Uh, sometimes, but I can see、yeah. you're, but you're quite thankful for her, right? For teaching、okay. you this and that. Good, good.、Uh, so let's think about.、Uh, 
if you come to the U.S., join a new school, um, can you think about what can you contribute to the school community, to the new school? What can you bring to that? Uh, 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 mm. you know, when the school considers uh, whether I want to accept a new student, they sometimes have that question in mind. Uh, if I accept this girl, what she might bring to our school community? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Haven't thought about that. Uh, I think yeah. you, you have your your artistic talents, and yeah. also um, you have your international background. I, I'm pretty sure you will bring something new to the school. Okay. Okay. Um, let me move to my maybe my last question. So, when you consider about the your future schools you want to apply to, uh, what is the most important to you when you decide which school I want to apply? Do you have any special preference? Uh, uh something like artist, art, uh. Computer, yeah, this is, uh, I'm interested with it. Okay, uh, you think a computer program and art program, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a, just go back to your your favorite subjects, arts and science. You <laughs> yeah. hope the future yeah. school has both to offer. That's great. Uh, let me also ask, um, are you, um, do you like sports? Sports? Mm -hmm. Uh. I'm so lazy. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I just think it's not lazy or not. Maybe you just it's also for your own benefit, right? For your health, for your so do some exercise. You don't have to be um, in a competitive game, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. This is uh, every student is unique no problem i just want to know more about them okay good john Jie aida um i think i'm done with the first part um the second part as i told you i'm going to show you a short paragraph um can you see a short paragraph on your screen wait wait mm -hmm. uh just short like, paragraph yeah there's a uh, uh on your screen with the, on the Skype, the dialogue wow. box. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is a long paragraph. And this is long? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you can take a, a little time to um, look at this paragraph. Then when you're ready, I need you to read loudly and clearly about this paragraph. Then I have a couple <laughs> questions, okay? Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, when you're ready, take your time. There is, there are some words I don't know. Oh, don't worry, that's typical, not just for you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. When you're ready. Mm. Can I start now? Yeah, please. Um, Jack London's story, Call of, the, Call of the Wild, tells of Buck, a dog store from California who is taken to Alaska, Alaska during the, <laughs> during the Klondike gold rush in the late 1890s. Buck becomes a slave dog, part of a team that transports supplies and people through the harsh winters. It was, it was, this word, this word, how to read it? You can just skip it if you don't know this word. Can just skip it? Oh, you can try your best to, to just sound it out, okay? Okay, that the clash of forty ship
because he had been grouped kept by them nameless in compre okay sorry <laughs> don't know how to read part of the trail and trains that pride which holds dogs in the tour to the last gasp which lures them to die joyfully in the harness and breaks them hearts if they are cut out of the name harness. This was a pride of death as well dog of Solex and he pulled with all his strength the pride that they hold off them at break of camp. <clears throat> transforming them from saw and 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 uh, solemn brought into straining yeah straining eager and <laughs> creatures the pride that pour them on all day and drop them at pitch of Camp at night, letting them fall, fall back into gloomy unrest and discontent. That this was a pride that grew up spitted and made him thrash the sleigh dogs who blundered and shark it in the traces or head away at harness up time in the morning. Likewise, it was a pride that made him feel Bob as a possible lead dog. And this was Bob's pride too. Okay, oh. good. Thank you, Ada. Um, how do you think about this parallel? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that actually you read it quite fluently. Okay, there are some words you don't know, which is uh, not uncommon okay so don't worry about that and i don't need you to know all the details okay i just uh, have very general questions actually um quite simple one um, because um when you read anything you want to know who is this who did this paragraph talk about so my first question will be who are the main characters of this paragraph uh, buck. buck good so what is buck is it a human being an no, animal or something. A dog. Uh, yeah, it is a, it's dog. a dog. Um, yeah. Have you noticed uh, what it, what type of dog is Buck? Is it like a, some or a pet animal we keep it at home? Um, what what gold rush is that? I uh, know gold rush is a, a specific period of time in the U.S. history. It's not about uh, something or. Uh. Mm. So you're right, this paragraph mainly talks about Buck, and Buck is a dog. So my next question is, what type of dog? A sled A sled dog, right. Okay, if yeah. you can just think about the picture, like the Santa Claus has his sled dogs. A, t a group of dogs helps to pull the stuff. So my que next question will be, um, since Bark is one of the dogs in this team and you have you may have noticed there are some other dogs names mentioned so my next question is what is the relationship of these dogs <coughs> so there's a team of dogs so I just yeah. wonder whether they uh, like they get along very well. They're friendly to each other, or the opposite. They have some conflicts. They fight for something. Uh. Yeah, fight. Oh, it's so far away. <laughs> Don't worry. Just uh, quickly go over the paragraph again. Then. Um, just think about my questions. You're right, Buck is working with other dogs as team. So, what is the relationship among these dogs? 
you may notice in this Le paragraph. Leader. And uh, they is Buck the leader. Uh. And uh, don't worry, I, you actually um in the right track. It says this paragraph does tell a lot about the leadership. Um, both Buck and the other dogs they want to be the next leader. So there is uh, some conflict. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Um, we just want to know a little bit about your uh, reading skills. And I do have the recommendation for you, have some advice for you. So I think in the summer, although you're, you're going back, maybe your new school year will start very soon. But anyway, when you have time, uh, I think you can spend a little more time reading the English class, the classic readings, okay? Okay. And it will help you to increase your vocabulary and also um, improve your reading comprehension abilities. Okay, um, that's good. Uh, I actually, the interview will end here, um, but don't, um, you can stay here for a while. Let me do something that I can have some free chat with you and maybe your parents. Okay, you just hang on there. The network is back.